This is a presentation on Helen Hardin's Changing Woman by Anna Catherine Sims, Isabella Pitaluga, Sarah Pluge, and Tate Poole. The piece of art that will be analyzed today is Changing Woman by Helen Hardin, completed in 1981. This piece was actually considered to be part of a triad of works um, known uh, with, along with Changing, with Changing Woman, Medicine Woman, and then finally Listening Woman. This will be discussed later. First, it's important to discuss Helen Hardin, the artist herself. Born, in, born on May 28, 1943, she is a Native American woman from the Pueblo tribes. However, her heritage is actually mixed. She has an Anglo, uh, Anglo father, who's actually American European, and a Native American mother from the Pueblo tribes. Um, they speak Tewa, and her name, uh, her, Pueblo, her Tewa name actually meant Little Standing Spruce. Her education was at a Catholic school and eventually at the University of New Mexico. Her um, art was recognized very, very early on. She was really considered always the artist. She won first place in an art contest at six years old and sold her first painting at only nine years old. However, um, while her mother was an artist herself, her mother did not necessarily approve of her art and her later boyfriend didn't either. And so she sort of had to sneak around in order to be able to paint properly. Her work was later was featured in such amazing places as Seventeen Magazine and the University of Arizona Southwest Indian Art Project. It should be noted that Helen's um, mixed heritage proved to be quite difficult for her uh, in her early life as she was sort of an outcast in her tribe and was considered and was sort of um, sometimes ostracized from some of the tradition that would be celebrated by the Pueblo tribe. As a first reaction, um, it's the piece was sort of surprising. The, the face type feature seen in the center of the, of the piece looked frazzled or distressed. The shapes and features signified confused, confusion and chaos. There's this worry within the figure. Another thing that was noticed rather quickly was the way this figure was slouching, almost as in a depression. They were anxious. They're worried. There's a slump. The posture of the figure shows another emotion experienced by changing woman, sadness when a woman undergoes to change. This is the first thought that, I, um, that, went, through my, that went through our minds when we looked at the piece. When women undergo, begin to undergo changes of body and mind, there's a lot of confusion and chaos in their lives. They struggle to accept it. It can be difficult to accept this kind of change. Generally speaking, uh, changing woman is a mythical figure in both Navajo and Pueblo mythology. The face of changing woman is divided in half. She's a woman in profile, looking deep within herself and out into the world. This painting uses repeated geometric forms and layering techniques with the, with the medium of a color lithograph. Lithography, for a short description, is based on the chemical repellents of oil and water. Designs are painted with greasy ink on cray or crayons on specially prepared limestone. The stone, the stone is moistened with water, which the stone accepts in areas not covered by the crayon. An oily ink applied with a roller adheres only to the drawing and is repelled by the wet parts of the stone. The print is then made by pressing paper against the ink drawing. The moon here is can be considered optimistic due to the bright colors, and Hardin actually ends up describing the woman and changing woman as bold and strong, which is obviously attempts to create, she really attempts to create this optimistic mood within her that the future is going to be better. However, it should be noted that her mood here is still dark and unhappy. The woman is struggling at the same time. There's an optimism and pessimism within this piece at the same time. The woman is struggling with her identity with this change. Uh, even though bright colors are used here a lot, it is not a bright mood. The central focus of this piece draws you to the unhappy expression of the figure. She is struggling. And while she is bold and strong, as Helen described earlier, she is not... She's still going to be struggling through all of this. The art is described as bold because it proves this point of the confusion and distress. It clearly displays this woman up there. It clearly presents this abstract figure who is uh, very obviously to the audience struggling with her identity, struggling with this shifting that is described in the title of the piece, The Changing Woman. The rigid shapes and the chaotic way they are just arranged prove this point as well. The shapes are incredibly important here because they display a chaotic nature to this, whole, to this whole shift, to this whole transformation. The artwork is all about the chaos and distress a woman undergoes while she experiences change. And this is clear, the shapes once again prove this point. 
She is surrounded by worry and anxiety as she shifts and transforms. It would be best to discuss, in order to develop this interpretation further, it would be best to discuss the historical and cultural context behind the piece. Changing Woman was part of a three-year body of work, as mentioned earlier, titled The Woman Series, which was in progress when Hardin was diagnosed with breast cancer. The work was created by a woman who was half Anglo heritage and half Native American heritage. As noted previously, Harding comes from a background in which she was rejected from her culture due to her mixed blood. She struggled to stay within her Native American tradition and maintained a presence in both sides of her identity. This is pretty important as the piece displays a split in her. As noted earlier, when we discussed the, the background behind the mythological figure of the changing woman she split there's an inside she's looking inside of her and outside of her at the same time in this situation she's looking at both sides of her identity the native american tradition and the modern tradition and she is struggling to stay within her native american tradition and maintain a presence on both sides of her identity the work also reflects images of imagery of ancient pottery but also exhibits a significant modern influence in the expressionist um con concept concepts in the work these shapes, for instance, that we mentioned plenty of times, are very important in the modern aspect of this piece. Finally, a good interpretation. Uh, we're not, yeah, finally. So, in accordance with Hardin's life, Changing Woman displays a figure who is split between two lives. The figure's visage is changing and inconsistent and displays a clash of modern and traditional. As mentioned earlier, there's imagery of ancient pottery, but there is a modern aspect to it. She is painting with both sides of her identity in mind. The, this mirrors Hardin's split heritage and reflects her struggle with identity when she is locked out of both sides. Uh, the painting is, as, and I'm, this whole locking her out thing actually was mentioned earlier when I talked about how she was locked out of her tradition, locked out of her heritage. The painting displays influence from Native American motifs, and yet the geometric patterns display a similar abstract nature to modern work. As we'll discuss a little later on, there is an expressionist aspect to this whole to this piece of art. A final thing to note is that Hardin noted once that Listening Woman, the third piece in the Woman series, is the in the in the Woman series is the woman I am becoming now. She's a speaker. She's the person who's more objective, the listener and the compassionate person. Listening Woman was the last work in the triad of pieces she produced near the end of her life. Changing Woman being the first and Medicine Woman being the second. The quote implies that these paintings sort of displayed a sh kind of shift in her life and role. Changing Woman is the first piece in plus she started out with the struggle in her identity. She was bold and strong through it, as mentioned earlier, and yet she was still struggling through it. She was strong during this process. The rejection from her mother and her shift in identity as she grew up reflects both the title and theme of the work. Finally, an evaluation. The artwork is successful when it because she's able to make the viewers think and feel the emotions she was feeling when creating the work. The artist utilizes expressionism in her painting, Changing Woman. Uh, this expressionism is incredibly important. As mentioned earlier, there is a modern aspect to the piece. The piece displays a lot of modern, um, modern, a lot of modern style and a lot of modern culture while still displaying the Native American tradition of energy of ancient pottery, for instance. Um, and it's really important because the shapes actually are reflective of both sides of the identity. Expressionist artistic style seeks to depict the subjective emotions and responses that objects and events evoke within a person rather than objective reality. This is pretty clear as Pardon notes that the, chain, the woman series is reflective of her. It's reflective of who she's becoming and who she once was. Uh, what was, what is, and what she wants to be. So this is obviously very subjective emotion, very subjective feelings, and very subjective responses. Sharp angles, flattened forms, bright colors, and distorted views are frequently used in the expressionist works. We see the sharp angles and flattened forms in the shapes. Obviously, the shapes are mentioned multiple times in this presentation. The shapes are key in this piece. They're very, very influential. The bright colors, while depicting an optimistic mood, really only take optimism for the future which is actually pretty significant since Changing Woman is the first in a piece set of three. And there is a future to this piece in Medicine Woman and eventually Listening Woman. There is a shift. There's a transformation. So Changing Woman is just the beginning. So there is optimism for the future. And the distorted views, obviously the piece does this, seems to display a very clear woman, a very clear face. The title plays it as well. However, it's still distorted. There's, and there's a, there's a worry. There's an anxiety here in the woman. 
As noted earlier, the work was completed when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she uses the artwork to express the changes she would be enduring, but also portray the strong woman that she had become. This is pretty significant, since the piece of medicine woman was actually being worked on while she was diagnosed with breast cancer, meaning that and medicine woman was sort of ended up displaying a kind of healing spirit that she needed during that time. And this whole transformation implies it implies and shows really that changing woman is connected, significantly connected to these other two pieces of art in the in the woman's series. And that is an evaluation of the work.